Well, what I'm hoping for is, uh, is to get things reconnected, to reconnect my brain to the rest of my body and uh, repair the damage in my spinal cord so that I can start moving again, start breathing again on my own, start moving again, both my upper body and lower body. I want my life back. I want my independence back and uh, and I think I've got a real shot at that happening. My name is Lenny Larson. I'm a C3, C4 spinal cord injury patient and uh, I live in Los Angeles. My, uh, my accident happened on July 19th of, of 2013. Um, it was actually a trampolining accident. I'm a uh, uh, springboard and platform diver, and uh, divers train on trampolines. And uh, I made a freak mistake in midair and came down on my neck. And the next thing I knew, I was paralyzed from the neck down. The injury has uh, pretty much changed my life entirely. Um, I went from being one of the most independent people that I know uh, to being completely dependent on a team of people to do everything and anything now. With a spinal cord injury at my level, I'm unable to move uh, from basically from the neck down. Also, uh, I have been unable to, to breathe on my own without a ventilator for uh, over a year now. Following my accident, I spent two months in ICU in Los Angeles. Then uh, from there, I uh, transitioned to the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, which is one of the, the top rehab hospitals in the world. I spent a little over a year there uh, undergoing uh, occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy. Really uh, progressed quite a bit from initial condition after my accident. Within weeks they had me talking, uh, they had me using a, a power wheelchair, uh, driving using a sip and puff, but uh, still didn't have any movement below the neck. And it was time to start exploring other options, which led me to stem cell. It was time to try something dramatic. i have been doing research on stem cells and various other non-traditional approaches to solving spinal cord injury. And for me, it looked like stem cells had the best chance of reconnecting what had been broken, uh, putting me back together from the inside out. Spinal cord injuries are unpredictable. You never know what's going to come back, when something's going to come back, or if it'll come back. For me, the, one of the most devastating losses was the inability to breathe on my own uh, without a ventilator. It's really challenging, very frustrating to uh, be completely dependent on a hose hanging off of your throat, uh, to breathe constantly, 24 hours a day, you're tethered to a ventilator. And um, because it's been so long, the diaphragm muscle uh, had atrophied to a point where even we had tried a diaphragmatic uh, pacemaker to and try to electrically uh, activate my diaphragm. And the muscle had atrophied to a point where there was nothing left to stimulate. So doctor after doctor basically told me I would never breathe again on my own, uh, that there was really little to no chance of anything ever coming back. What we discovered here is that I'm actually able to move my diaphragm muscle again. Today we did a minute and 45 seconds off of the ventilator, which I didn't think would be, uh, would be possible. And I'm looking forward, looking forward to that continuing to progress. Uh, it's gonna be a while before we start to see results from the stem cells themselves. It takes time for them to grow and knit things back together and for me to start seeing results from them. So hopefully in the coming weeks and months, we'll start to see some significant progress uh, from the stem cells. The neurostimulator, we started to see results from that almost immediately. Well, the neurostimulator is a, a set of electrodes implanted 
in my spine that electrically activates the, uh, the muscles in my upper body. It had been used on for paraplegics to uh, restore movement to their lower body, basically reconnecting the brain to the muscles that it couldn't connect with. Uh, it had been successful in, in paraplegics. Shortly after the, uh, the folks in Kentucky, Better Being did it here in Thailand uh, with, a, with a, another patient. Um, again, for the lower body, and uh, those patients have seen uh, tremendous success. And uh, the uh, the thought was that if we can, if it was possible to get it to work for the for the lower body, there's stands to reason that it should work for the upper body as well. So I was the first quadriplegic to have the device implanted uh, in my cervical spine, and it's been a process of figuring out what muscles are connected to what nerves and mapping the stimulator to my upper body muscles. Like I said, it takes time to, to program it and, and get it to a point where we can train with it. But we've gotten to that point now and with a whole lot of concentration and a whole lot of energy, I'm able to uh, voluntarily move my fingers, my wrists, my triceps uh, with assistance from the stimulator. As my brain gets better at using those pathways, those nerve pathways again, that have been asleep for quite some time now, I'll be able to do more and more on my own and rely less and less on assistance from the stimulator. It was a sort of a wild experiment, but, uh, but we've gotten it to work. My experience here at Better Being Hospital has been extraordinary. Uh, it's a remarkable staff that really cares. Uh, they're compassionate, they're talented, and they're committed to getting people better. And combined with my team that uh, traveled with me from the States, it's been a remarkable experience. Absolutely, I would recommend uh, pursuing stem cells and unconventional treatments as, uh, as an option for anyone in this condition. No one with a spinal cord injury wants to remain in, this, in the condition that we're in. All of us who have suffered spinal cord injuries, our, our hope is to get back to our lives, to walk again, to move again, to be independent again. And I think that stem cells are going to play a key part in that happening.